Section 7. Exact turns. In this section, we are first going to make the robot turn using the gyro sensor to measure the turn degrees. Then we are going to use the gyro sensor to drive in a circle. After that, we are going to make the robot drive in a rectangle and using the gyro sensor, we can turn exactly 90 degrees at uh, each point. We are then going to drive in a triangle and again we can use the gyro sensor to drive exactly. And last, we are going to put together our knowledge of the gyro sensor in a challenge. Introduction In this section, we are going to take a look at the gyro sensor. The gyro sensor is a complex sensor that uses an accelerometer to detect the current uh, rotation of it. When you rotate your robot, the sensor can then detect this change and tell you what direction it is currently facing. Let's turn. We are going to start things off by taking a look at how we can use the gyro sensor to make an exact turn. Alright, so to turn using the gyro sensor, we can use movement blocks and the weight block. So let's first uh, put down a movement block that is set to just on and let's Turn the steering all the way to maximum. Then let's take a weight block and let's configure it to gyro sensor, change angle. So this measures the change in angle and let's set that uh, amount to 90. So we, well, the robot will make an exact 90 degree turn. And this here is a direction meter. This way you can measure if the change happens in uh, one direction, the other direction, or if it happens in any direction. In uh, the current case it doesn't really matter which way it uh, goes, so we we'll just keep it at any. And then let's just take a last block that is set to off. So now if we run the program, the robot is going to turn until it does a 90 degree turn and then it will stop. Alright, so we did a 90 degree turn to the left. Stop. Turns. Let's uh, take another movement block. Set it to just on. Let's copy this uh, block here. And uh, let's turn instead of 90 degrees. Let's turn... Uh, 164 degrees and uh, let's also copy this block here like this so now the robot is first going to do a 90 degree turn to the left and then a 164 degree to the right also before we run the program let's put some delay between the two turns so we can easily separate them Sometimes you might look at the value of the gyro sensor and see that it is constantly rising or lowering, although the robot is completely stationary. This is caused when during the calibration of the gyro sensor, usually during the startup of the robot, the robot is moving and uh, then the gyro sensor believes that is the stationary state. Luckily, it's quite easy to fix. You need to disconnect the gyro sensor and then you need to reconnect it while the robot is stationary to recalibrate uh, the sensor. And as you can see, the value is uh, not changing anymore and is reflecting the real world uh, state.